an encampment of Palestinian supporters is growing at UNC Chapel Hill. So far, the university is not taking action to remove the tent village that's been on campus since Friday. WRL's Matt Tallhelm is live on the main quad at UNC with what students are demanding and what the setup looks like at this hour. Matt. Yeah, Renee, I've counted more than two dozen tents. You can see them set up here all throughout this quad area. Some students even bringing sleeping bags along with them. They've really taken over. You can see down here they have signs up here blocking off the area here for this encampment. This is now day four of this encampment here. They've taken over the central part of the quad here, Polk Place, between South Building on that end and down there, Wilson Library on that end. Now, this is all organized by the group Students for Justice in Palestine. They set up their tents here on Friday. They are demanding the university disclose any investments in Israel and to end that funding. They're also calling for a ceasefire to the war in Gaza, which started back in October when the terrorist group Hamas launched surprise attacks on Israel. A grad student encampment leader here who would only give us the name S says they are prepared to stay here for the long haul. Students have attempted to try to grab the university's attention hasn't been working and you can't really turn a blind eye to a massive encampment of students faculty and community members and I think this is sending a clear message that like we're we are still here seven months into this and we're not going anywhere soon back out here live you can see this is not just UNC students here there are signs for Duke showing solidarity here. Also on this side around here, you can see there's a sign for NC State students that think that their money should be divested here. Now, organizers say there are about 75 people who are staying here. They're sleeping in these tents, staying here since Friday, but the numbers sort of swell depending on the class sizes. You can actually see a good number of people who are out here. They have brought their chairs, their blankets. They are setting up. They're doing their classwork here. It's a very organized thing with meetings that go on here. Now, I have reached out to to the university to ask if they have any plans to remove this encampment or to do anything here at this point. We have not heard back from UNC, but that has happened at other universities. We'll continue to keep an eye on that situation there at UNC Chapel Hill. Matt, thank you.